everyone, I'm Jeannie Liu with GBTA. I'm here at the GBTA broadcast studio and joining me today is David Reamer with American Express Global Business Travel. Welcome, David. Thanks, Jeannie. It's fantastic to be here and a lot of energy and excitement out there today. So exactly. very thrilled to be here with you. Happy to have you. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about, um, kind of describe for us who is the modern business traveler today? What do they look like and what kind of impact do they have on the industry? Well, the modern business traveler is changing to what we're traditionally yeah. used to. If you have a look at the greatest traveling population that we have and you know we'll really be heading into over the next 10 years mm -hmm. is the millennial generation. So yeah. this is the generation that grew up with a smartphone in their hand <laughs> and they're a little different to what we're traditionally used to. So this generation uh, wants everything at their finger fingertips. They want the broadest uh, array of content. Yeah. And they also like to travel a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the research that we recently did uh, showed that nearly 18% of them wanted alternative uh, you know, choices for content. So things like Airbnb, uh, things like Uber. So that whole sharing economy thing is really driven by uh, this segment of traveler. So best content at their fingertips, uh, and it's a big change for the industry and one that we need to be ready for. Definitely. So in your opinion, what are the top business travel trends that travel managers need to know about today? Yeah, I think there's, you know, there's certainly a number of interesting trends out there right now. I think uh, the research that we're releasing mm -hmm. with GBTA certainly has some of that in there. And I think for me, uh, this concept of um, combining a, a business trip with a leisure trip yeah is continuing to grow. So, you know, 25% of people said that that's what they want to do. They want to have a business trip um, and tack on that leisure trip with it. And I think that really sort of bleeds into another, you know, key topic that's out there. So duty of care is something that's been there for a while, but if you have people combining both business and leisure trips, you know, do these company knows where their people are in advance or at the end of a trip, what their obligations are. So I think there's a new conversation that we need to have about what it actually means for traveler, yeah. traveler safety and duty of care. So, and I think we, we have the, uh, um, we work in an ever-changing industry, never gets old, something new happening all the time, whether it be uh, technology, something in politics shaping our industry. Um, taking that all into consideration, um, what advice would you have for, you know, travel management companies, travel managers? Well, I think, you know, we look at the geopolitical events, you know, you, you pick up the paper, you watch TV, you listen to radio, it's there pretty much <laughs> every day. So it's front and center, both travel managers and travelers have heightened sense of awareness, they've got growing concern around these geopolitical events and how it may impact them. So I think the conversation around duty of care, uh, I think as an industry, we need a bigger conversation around yeah. hotels, hotel tracking, making sure that travelers are booking air and the hotel uh, trip together, that we're able to get that data that you know, if you can do that, you can actually locate a traveler in the event of an incident uh, and you know, really make sure that you're re really delivering on that program. I think there's been a lot of emphasis, there's been a lot of effort over the last few years around sourcing, mm -hmm. providing be you know, better rates, but I think the conversation really needs to come back to the traveler, the traveler experience, and there's certainly a deeper conversation around duty of care that, uh, that we need to be focusing on right now. Great, thank you so much. Um, this has been Jeannie Liu with the, at the GBTA Broadcast Studio. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, me today. Thanks, Jeannie. It's been my absolute David pleasure. Reed. Thank you.